easy, easy, easy. You had a nasty fall back there. Don't move. Drink this. <laughs> well, come on. It's just water. If I wanted to kill you, I would have done it six hours ago. <laughs> yes, you've been out for six hours. Now drink. There you go. There. Wasn't so bad now, was it? Now I gotta know. How did you even get in that quarry? Found you there. Just laying like some rag doll. I'm surprised you were alive. Really? Well, you're safe now. You're lucky me and my crew were passing through. Besides, I couldn't let you die with a pretty face like that. <laughs> what? Don't look so embarrassed. Something wrong with being honest? <laughs> Alright, let me take a look at that arm. I bandaged it earlier, but it was bleeding pretty bad. I want to make sure it clotted nicely. So, what's your name? Oh, don't get too many of those around here. I like it. Hmm. Alright, I mean, it looks good, but it'll probably leave a really cool scar. <laughs> Just gotta make sure we keep this. Oh, don't look so sad. Scars are great. They show strength, resilience, and they always provide really good stories. Here, I'll show you. Like this one. This long one here, right on my shoulder. Came from an orc who thought I was an easy target. He may have got a scratch on me, but he's the one that lost his arm. <laughs> and... Ah, my favorite one. This one was from a griffin. I may or may not have been trying to smuggle it across the border. <laughs> Got a little too close, but hey, I got a pet a griffin. Not many can say that and tell the tale. Huh? Smuggle? <laughs> yeah, I said smuggle. <laughs> Don't know if you know this by now, beautiful, but you got rescued by a clan leader. Or like, black market merchant leader. We don't really know what to call ourselves. Calm, calm, calm down. We didn't involve you in any illegal activity, directly. It's just business. I mean, come on, you're gonna tell me you never bought anything off the black market. Oh. Really? <laughs> you're kidding. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I don't want to get you all worked up. <sighs> you're still pretty weak. Who knows how long you were laying in that hot sun. Thankfully, we found you before nightfall. Sure, those wolves would have taken you as a nice snack. <laughs> hmm? Where are you? Well, we're not too far off from where I found you. We set up camp some ways away in, in the forest nearby. You're welcome to stay with us for a day or two until you get your strength back. But you'll be along for the ride. Speaking of which, where are you headed? To the Northern Temple? Well, you're in luck. We're gonna pass through there. No, 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 it's it's no trouble at all. You see, black market folk aren't so bad now, are we? <laughs> How I got into this business? What, come on, it's not like a bad business, is it? Brings in a lot of cash. Well, probably started when I was younger. It's been a family business, so I kind of got brought on, you know, with something that I, uh, didn't necessarily fall upon, just kind of put upon. But, you know, it's not so bad. You get to see a lot of places, see a lot of people, like you. <laughs> yeah.
you know, and it's not like we're out there, like, destroying cities or anything, you know, and it, I only accept jobs that I think that are morally okay. May get in the gray area sometimes, but I'm not smuggling kids if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> no, I know. I know that's not what you meant, but... Yeah. It's... It's a living. And these people are like my family. It's... It's been good. But... What are you? Hmm? By the looks of it, it looks like you're some kind of... Medicinal traitor. <laughs> Sorry, that cloak is just it's so uh, organic looking, I suppose. Oh. Well, I guess I consider me wrong. I would have never thought that's what you did. <laughs> well, it's getting pretty late. And I think I've riled you up enough. <laughs> I'm supposed to be letting you rest, and here I am, talking your ear off. It's nice that you don't mind, beautiful, but you need to sleep. <laughs> yes, I'm well aware you were just sleeping, but I don't think you realize you have a swelling on your head that's the size of a grapefruit. Well, if you really don't want to go to bed so bad, I suppose I could talk a bit more. Granted, I have a deal pretty early tomorrow morning, so I can't talk for too long, but... Hmm... I mean, I have a lot of great stories I could tell you. Or... We can talk more about you. I'd love to know more about you. <laughs> That's alright. I'm not going to press you into telling me anything about yourself, especially to a black market dealer. Pretty sure that's the last person you want to know your information. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll sell it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. I would never do that to you. Not someone like you. You've already gotten a sweet spot in my department. I had to convince everybody in this camp to let you stay here. Well, I mean, it's not that they don't like you, but they just don't know you. I mean, obviously, we're carrying some very precious cargo, so nothing that I can disclose to you. But I'm sure you can leave it up to your imagination. <laughs> so they, you know, were afraid, of obviously, obviously, of us getting caught. Are you ratting us out? Again, I wasn't going to leave you there in that hot sun. Yeah. People always think that people like me, like us, are just a bunch of delinquents just doing illegal things for the fun of it. Not that it's not completely fun, but <laughs> it's a business, you know? It's... It's not all bad all the time, and we're still good people. We have families and people that we love. Hmm? Man, this must be 20 questions today for me. <laughs> no, it's alright, I don't mind. Uh, yeah, I have a family back home. Obviously, as I told you before, this is a family business, but you know, got some siblings. My mama. Don't have that special someone yet, though. Still looking around for one of those. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And obviously my crew. They're important to me, too. One big family. Who do slightly illegal things. <laughs> but yeah, so... Just circling back around. I tend to spiral when I talk. I don't know if you've noticed that by now, but yeah, that's that's why the crew was hesitant because, you know, obviously you're an outsider. We tend to keep to ourselves, you know, with within the 
within the group. But hey, sometimes things need a change. Granted, I will say, hopefully, your, your gratitude would, uh, you know, maybe not tell anybody about the fact that black market people were, you know, trudging up north. Just consider that your uh, only payment for me saving your life. <laughs> well, thank you. I really appreciate that. Granted, of course, if you were to tell him yet, we'd probably hunt you down, so... <laughs> Don't look so scared, I was just joking. Granted, really, if you did tell on us, we probably would hunt you down. <laughs> well... Oh. Before I do go, I have this. It's a serum from down south supposed to help with, um, pain. I don't really know what it's made out of. Some old bag gave it to me. So, uh, I figured I'd use it on you. Why? Because, uh, you're hurt. <laughs> I don't have a lot of it, but, you know, I mean, in all honesty, I'm pretty sure you have a concussion. And I'm just surprised you didn't die from... It looks like you fell off that ledge and... Yeah. So, just here. Just take it. Consider it... A friendly gift. Here, just come a little close. So I'm just gonna rub it on your head. There you go. Yeah, it kind of does smell like spearmint, doesn't it? It's some old herbs and a bunch of other- she, she's talked for like an hour about it, but I kind of blocked it out. I was trying to be polite because, you know, we were selling her a bunch of, well, things. <laughs> I was surprised she- <laughs> when we got to her doorstep with our shipment, I was rather surprised that she was the buyer. <laughs> you don't really expect innocent old ladies to be buying from the black market, but hey, we sell some pretty good stuff for a cheap price. Well, I think it's about time I let you go to bed. That serum, whatever the heck I put on your head, don't worry, it's not dangerous. I've used it myself. It's pretty good. Takes away the most nastiest headaches, and I get a lot of those. So, it also makes you sleepy, so you should probably be feeling sleepy soon. And don't worry, we can always talk more tomorrow. <laughs> I know you'll miss me, but it's just something you'll have to endure for the night. And lucky for you, you have the most comfiest seat in the house. Definitely, I've definitely invested in this tent, for sure. I don't skip when it comes to my beauty sleep, but I'm sure you could probably already tell that. Yep. That there is, that's an owl bear pelt. It'll keep you warm on the most coldest nights. They're not easy to come by. No, it's really alright. What kind of host would I be if I didn't give the injured guest the best seat in the house? <laughs> I'll just, uh, should probably just make my leave. Holler if you need anything. Don't be afraid, I'll be right next door. So, I'll just be a call away. <laughs> My name. Oh. <laughs> How rude of me. I didn't even tell you my name, did I? What kind of host doesn't tell the guests their name? I suppose uh, black market folk aren't as civilized as I thought. 
but yeah, my my name's my name's Lena. <laughs> Good night. I'll see you tomorrow.